wanted to show you guys tonight. There's a um, new thing called online exclusives coming next month. If you're on my team or you're a demonstrator anywhere, um, you can order it now. Let me grab it. It is called Irresistible Blooms. And I was calling it the wrong thing. No wonder I couldn't find it on Pinterest. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a day. And it also has coordinating dyes. And I have to show you these dyes because I think they're so pretty. Let me grab a piece of paper, though, because it will be easier to see it. So here's the stamp set. And then, let me spill these guys out. There's this cool piece. I gotta remember that I have limited space here because we're all narrow. This pretty flower that I stamped it in polished pink. Look at those pretty leaves. And then I love these and these. So these two you stamp and cut out. And then these are extra, you know, little leaves. Aren't they cute? I love this though. I just think it looks so cool. So there's this one. That's that guy. Oops, you can't see it. It's this guy. And then you've got the leaves. And then this circle guy. Look at it there. Let me grab, grab a piece of paper and stick it in there. Isn't that pretty? I'm wondering. I bet we have a circle die that'll go around that. Um, there's also a gorgeous pack of paper. Because look at how pretty this would be to tuck that inside of there. Oh, that's so pretty. It's got that little bit of pale papaya in there. So it looks like you did the resist technique, but you didn't. You're just using gorgeous paper. That's like my favorite thing. And then a nice neutral on the other side. And you've got a nice little plaid going on here. And another neutral. This mimics that piece. That makes it look like that resist. And then there's the leaves. And it's my understanding that some of these dyes will cut out leaves. I don't think this is the page. There's that one. Got the pretty green on the back. You might notice that this has, oh, I don't wanna call it the wrong one. Is it? This has Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock in it. Do you remember those colors? <laughs> don't throw away your insides of the small leaves, they can be used. Yes, I saw that too after I scooped them up. I was like, oh, those would've made really cute leaves too. <laughs> These guys, though, will cut out this guy here. And then the little baby dude will also cut out in the paper. I love when things do that. And I'm pretty sure this one, yep, look at that. Those are cool. I love when it does that. You can't just buy the dies, can you? I think you can. I'll have to go back and look at the flyer, Jean. Um, here's another piece. And then there's that little, oh, that's pretty. And this one. If anybody knows the answer for Jane, that should cut out the flowers. Yep, there's that one. And then there's that one. And there's more of those leaves. There we go. Aren't they just gorgeous though? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't bring the flyer in here with me. I didn't get this, but glad you did. I'll just borrow yours. <laughs> so yes, these little guys came out of in here, but then there's pieces that pop out of these three, and they also make cute little leaves too, but I think I did scoop mine up and throw them away because I thought of it after I'd already done it, and I didn't fish them out of the trash. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you that. So there's the DSP, the stamp set, the dies, and then what else was it? Oh, and then the pretty little, these little guys. Um, these are loose frosted dots, and you get 360 of these guys. There's a ton of them in here, and all you gotta do is stick some glue down or a glue dot, and it will, because look, I did one right here. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit closer. I should have used one of the dark ones. I just put a teeny tiny, dot of glue from my liquid glue bottle from the Tom the Tombow multi-purpose and it's stuck right on there and it's on I just think it would look cute to have those all I just thought it was pretty and then taking a piece of that paper and then you don't have to do anything it's like all done for you so anyway this will be available next month for customers I think there was another one um but if you're a demonstrator you can get it you can order it now and then there's going to be a 
bunch of other things too available that we don't even know. We don't even know what they are. Isn't that gorgeous? If we did these in another color, they'd be pretty on there. I'm trying to check. I'm making sure the comments are working because my phone is all crazy. Aren't those pretty though? I love them. Love them, love them. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit. We're just going to stick these dudes right there. Oh, should we make a card with this, you guys? Did you see the rhino? I did see the rhino. And I said, ooh, a rhino. I called Becca because we like little animals. <clears throat> I should have brought the flyer in here. I don't know what I was thinking. I love Pretty Peacock, too. I also really like Lost Lagoon. I don't think I have them anymore. I think I finally got rid of them. Let me look. Yeah, I have Tranquil Tide, and I haven't seen that one coming back. But I'm sure I have a pretty peacock around here somewhere. But I used to have um, Lost Lagoon still hanging around, too. And I think I finally got rid of it. But I think we should put this guy in here. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Otherwise, let me grab my paper trimmer. Oops, crash. <clears throat> Let's cut him down and see what we can do. I just think it's really pretty. So we're going to go four. Should work. And then let's cut some of this off. I think if we do five and a quarter. Let's see. I really want it to come down though. I want it to be like that. I like that big guy there, don't you? Otherwise. Oh, but that's kind of pretty too. I think I like it like that. What do you think? You power wash. I saw that. And your husband was harassing you. <laughs> he was living on the edge, wasn't he? <laughs> Let me grab some adhesive. I'm just going to go here and here. Oops, I did not mean for it to string, so I'm just going to roll it back in there. It is always so weird when Rebecca's not here, you guys, because it's like, it's so quiet. I don't have to fight for space. I'm talking to myself, though. There's nobody here. Oh, and I did it crooked. Gosh, doggone it. I didn't mean to do it that crooked. A little crooked, maybe, but not like that. Let's straighten him out. Thankfully, I didn't press real hard, so I was able to pick it up. And that's regular seal. It's not seal plus. Seal plus, there's no way I'd be getting it off. It would have been stuck forever. All kinds of crooked. I just didn't want it to be ugly inside. That's better. I'll just rub that off of there. A little crooked I can live with. And then we would put a white piece in there. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe he didn't... Um, get sprayed. I was really quite surprised. Let's see. I wanted to see what other colors were in here because I couldn't remember. Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Soft Sea Foam. Well, I'm sorry. Pale Papaya works really well with it. That must be the Daffodil and the Flirty coming together and making that to look like that because it's really pretty. Something I really do like about this set too, I love a good splatter. It's always good for filling in. And then I like a nice, bold font like this with these really thick lines. They just take in, they make up, take up good space and they look so nice. All right, so there we go. We got pretty inside going on. And we need to do some flowers. I need to stick a flower down here in the corner with some leaves. Look, I didn't even put stickers on. You guys all know how to put stickers on, right? I'm going to do one just in case. This is how I do it. Not everybody does it this way, but this is how I do it. Oops. I peel it off, leaving the backing on. Get you out of there. And then I stick it on my block. And then I peel this guy off. And then the paper's already off because I took that off. And then you hover. Hopefully you can still see. I had to get it closer to my face here so I don't get it crooked. Okay, that's good. That's it. And now it's good to go. Ta -da! Let me see what color we can use. There's probably no flirting in here. Oh wait, there is. There's 
flirty and there's pale papaya. Oh, let's see. Let's see how dark this flirty is. Let's see. What are you guys chatting about? <clears throat> the comments are coming up weird tonight, too. Like, all over the place. So let's see what we like. I just had this little scrap piece. Oh, that's really pretty. I think that could be pretty. And then... We could also, I went back, I was going to show you guys this too. I went back to the Stampin' Scrubber. I really like it, the Stampin' Scrub. Um, mine is full of cat hair because my cat thinks it's for him to lay on. Kind of rude. Sponge them both and make it multicolored. Oh, yes, I thought, I was just thinking that too. Let's do that. Oh, look at the, look at that pale papaya too though. He's too light, I think, to go up on pale papaya, but that's really pretty. Sponge them both and make it multicolor. Sponge, what am I sponging? My flowers? Is that what you're thinking? Oh, Melissa, did you answer Jane's question? Sponge them both. We'll find out. She'll answer me here in a minute. Let me grab another piece. Oh, and I don't have pretty peacock, but I don't think. Let me look on my shelf. This is very possible. I feel like I have one somewhere, but it's probably like tucked away because it's retired. There was. Oh, wait, what's that? Twinkle ties. Yeah, I probably got rid of Pretty Peacock because I have like three twinkle ties. <laughs> yep. No, Pretty Peacock. That stinks. Oh, well, that's okay. Thank you, Melissa. You could use the pale papaya one on the ends. I was thinking that too, so that I could have, I wouldn't be wasting it. Let's see. I like, um, I have some soft succulent and I think it looks pretty with these colors. So let's use that. Some of these leaves. Again, I didn't do any, any labels on them yet. And we're just gonna, we're gonna pop these out. We're gonna die cut them. Stampin' Pale and then daub some flirty. I'm with you now. I'm with you. Those are they're so pretty. I like leaves. Let me get this one in here too. I don't want to get another piece of paper. <laughs> All right. So yes, I went back to my stamp scrubber because I like it, and I just like the way that <clears throat> that it cleans everything so nice. I'm gonna use. Let me see if I have a brush. Do I have 5,000 brushes? They're probably not the color I want. Let's try this one. It might work. I need some scrap paper. I'm gonna, oh, I gotta get back on the camera. I forgot it's really small. My little brushes are out in the other room. They would be perfect for getting that centerpiece. That's pretty though. And then I think there should be a pink one over there. Okay, so like I finally had my room clean. Then Alyssa was in the hospital. And so things just went all crazy again in here. And I was rushing around doing stuff and then things just get shoved and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to get a little bit here too. I like the blending brushes. Have you guys tried the, the small ones that we have now? Get a little more in there. Thank you. I, I really do like the small ones. I just, like I said, I don't have one in here right now. I like the way that one came out. All right move you guys out of my way and since we did it with those we're going to try it back I know I really like it I didn't realize how much I missed it I, I like the chamois for some things but I do like my scrub 
I could have also stamped these on colored cardstock, but just as easy, I can add some color to them. Or I could leave them white. I think it looks pretty though. All right, I have stamps everywhere now. All right, you guys come here. Let me grab my machine. And I only have the big one in here tonight, which is funny because I have like, I don't know, three little ones. <laughs> it's all that I have in here. So I'm going to grab my dies. Oh, yeah. Well, we, with living in Florida, you really risk those chamois getting moldy. But, you know, you can throw them in the in the washer, like when you do your towels or old rags or whatever. And that helps. And you got to let them, they've got to be able to breathe. they got to dry. There's the other one. There he is. But yes, here in Florida, it's so humid. They get they get yucky fast, and I don't like that. And your stamp, stamp and scrub, you can put in the dishwasher to clean it. Just put it on the top rack with the heat off, or just run it under the faucet, and that works too. Chuck is out there doing Alyssa. He's feeding her. So she has that peg tube now. And so now we just have to convince her to let us feed her. And she's not wanting to take her medicine. So now we got, we fixed her though. We just grind it up and put it in her food and she doesn't know. <laughs> when she figures it out, I'm in trouble. So far, she hasn't. Dawn in your faucet, exactly. But the letting it dry is the important part, I think. Because it's got to dry. Look how pretty that is. Let me grab all my dyes so I don't lose them. I just opened these um, and for my with my class yesterday. I, I, they came, I think, on Friday, and I hadn't opened them yet. And so we opened them in class. Ta-da! See, I think it's pretty. I need something back here. There, that's better. But this is very blah. Maybe it needs my splatter. I did also, so there's three embossing folders too. They come in a three pack that are going to be available. Let's see if you guys can guess which one is my favorite. Yeah, the splatter is what I think too. So there's this one. I don't know if they even had names. I didn't, I don't know where the package is. My class opened them yesterday. They're calling them the basics 3D embossing folders. So they don't seem to each have an individual name. So there's this one that looks like, let me see. I cut them out, or you know, I ran them through the machine. I thought, this one, oh, there they are. Here they are. So there's this one. Let's see if you can see that okay. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And it's so the 3D, all of them. So they have that nice texture to them. And then there's this one. It's a nice generic background, which is great. And then there's this one with the dots. Which one do you think is my favorite? The little flower, the little, I don't know what those are, like the fabric looking one or the dots? Take a guess. I think they're super cute. Oh, look at that. If I hadn't put that in there, I might run this through and do dots, but that's okay. Where do I have any white up here? Fabric looking one. Sec oh, second one. Which one was that, Larry? <laughs> I think it was the fabric looking one. It's the dots. I love the dots. They make me happy. Very, very happy. I'm grabbing, maybe, let's see. I was looking for like a label or a circle to stick those, to stick that flower on. I just feel, nope, don't like that. You're out. I don't think I'm going to like that either. I think you're just going to go. All right, I need a glue dot. 
<gasps> so my cat came running through here yesterday. Yeah, it's just stuff everywhere. Nothing is where it belongs. Everything has been moved around. They chunked things on the floor. My glue is clogged. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna get another leaf. So we're gonna get you in here. I'm gonna do the dots in a second, so don't panic, I didn't forget. I just wanted to do it. Yeah, I love the dots. I can't wait to use the dots. <laughs> this one, this one reminds me of one we had a long time ago. I think it was a celebration one, and it just reminds me of it. The fabric one is would be my second favorite for sure. All right, you need to go sit there. Let's grab those dots. Ouch. <clears throat> so we did a whole lot of nothing today. I think we're still like recovering from being out you know, at the hospital with Alyssa and stuff. I think it's like, my body is still like, ugh. I want, there it is, pale papaya. Let's see how that looks, yep. I love these dots. I'll close you. They're so good. Because they're the splattery kind, like when you flick, you know, so they're not uniform. They're just kind of random. And we're going to go right here because that's where that other flower is going to go, not you. The other one that I've misplaced again here. Nope, that's not him. I'll find him in a second. I'm sure when I knocked over something over here, I set him down. <clears throat> there he is. Actually, you... Come off of there. It's this one. You were supposed to go there, and you were supposed to go there. Nobody caught me. I grabbed the wrong flower for the front. So we're going to go like that. And then I think we'll do one there. And we'll add some words. You guys got quiet or my screen went crazy, one of the two. Let's move you to the other side. Okay? Yeah? Okay. You talking to me? Oh, I thought he was talking to Alyssa. I don't know why he's talking to me. I guess because I'm too quiet. I'm doing a video. Oh, not you. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. I was I like, to you. You're doing a video. exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Chuck says hi. Chuck says hi. He was talking to Alyssa, but he kept answering every time I said, "Are you talking to me?" He's like, "Yeah." She must have been answering at the same time. <laughs> You're just watching. <laughs> it's weird when Rebecca's not here, right? <laughs> you guys are just stuck with me. So when I do this, I know I put some glue on those, but I'm going to use my little dimensionals to just make sure that I'm holding on tight. Because, you know, I don't want the, my leaves to fall off. That would be terrible. All right. Oh, hmm. I think I'm going to go like that. Oh, kind of like I'm turned, though. All right. We need words. That's some more of these guys. Let's do these guys while I'm here. Because they gotta dry a hot minute. And I like these pink dudes. And oh, there are different sizes. I wasn't sure. So we'll just do a few. I'm gonna use the take a pick tool because it will help me to grab them. Let's see what color this is. I think these are like the pretty peacock ones. So oh, we need you. I'm using that putty side to grab it. And if any glue squishes out, it's okay. It's going to dry clear anyway, so it's going to be okay. Don't panic. It will be okay. It's upside down. We're going to put you here. So like everybody, some people were disappointed that these aren't the ones with the adhesive on the back, but you get way more this way. 
you just have to put glue on them yourself. And I don't think that's so terrible. I mean, there's harder things in this world we have to do. So it's not the end of the world. And you gotta, you know, let it dry for a second. And by the time you finish doing the inside of your card or your next card, then it'll be dry. Oops, I need an even tinier one, I need you. So the take a pick tool, that putty end is great. Oh, I need a new piece for trying to get it set on this glue. Ta-da, so one, two, three, four, five. Super cute. Well, thank you for that. I was, I'm, I'm thinking it might. I'm thinking it might. We're going to just add a little bit of wink in here because, you know, because we can. We can do it in the centers of those guys. I was, because I love to have thank yous or birthdays. The two of them are like, I like you is cute too. But what if you don't? like them. <laughs> the hello will for sure fit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the yellow pollen has started falling. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I think it will just make it like right there where we could just do the little hello. You guys, I'm going to spill you. The little hello would be really cute too. Let me show you the box again. So hello. Oh, hooray. It's your day. That might fit too. I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. That one fits good too. Hello is nice and generic though, because then you're not committed to anything. It could be anything. Why hello, thank you for what you did. Why hello, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, what color should we do it? And do we do it? I think we're gonna do it straight on the card. I don't know that I wanna add, hello. I'm gonna clean this dude while we think about what color we should do that. Aw, thanks for the thumbs up. <laughs> then I'm thinking, where's that? That thank you. That's hanging over. I just don't want that letter to get left off. Let me see. Hello, suck and soft succulent. Very possible. Let's give it a try. I have a scrappy piece over here. We're gonna stamp it on and then we can lay it and see if we like it. Oh, he needs juice, but it could totally work. Let me grab the re-inker though, because he is dry. Just a little dry. Look at, did you even see, you didn't see that? See how fast it's sucking it in? That's just how dry it was. So after I do that, then I would take um, a block and just kind of squish it in there or a plastic, back of a plastic spoon works. Whatever you got laying around. Just remember to wipe that block off so you don't stick your hand in it. All right, let's try this again. I'll see how much better that is. Ta-da! I'm gonna stick my head on the camera for a second and if I mess this up, I'm just gonna peel it off and I'll just start over. Oh, I got it on the flower! Okay, let's just pretend that's not there. It does look good in that color though. Oh Lord, I knew I was gonna mess it up. My big old head wouldn't fit in there with the camera. It's okay, I'm trying to think. I might trim that off. <laughs> Do you not hate that when you make a decision and it's the last thing on the card and then you're like, oh, can you believe I just did that? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stamp that flower again and glue it right on top of it. It will be perfect. <clears throat> that doesn't bother me. Because then I won't lose my leaves and I won't tear up my card. So we're going to go like that. And it's okay that it went off on the edge because we're going to cut it out. So no stress there. And then we're going to take some pale papaya. And add some color in here. I think he needs to be juiced too. Yeah. You guys are so quiet. So creepy. Okay. 
I'm just going around it because I want to go a little more pink in there on the bottom, around the edges. Ta-da! All right, that guy out of the way. Got stamps everywhere. Grab my die. Oh, hi, Rebecca. Are you saying you miss me or you miss them? <laughs> did you see what I just did? I ruined my card at the end, so I'm fixing it. Because everything is fixable. All right, I'm going to cut that out, everyone. <laughs> well, you needed some rest, I think. That baby's taking up all the energy. All right. So then we're just going to go. Oh, look, I used polished pink instead of flirty flamingo. We're good. Oh, I kind of like it better. We're just going to do it. Does it look bad? I kind of like the polished pink better. Lord help me. What a night. <laughs> we're just going to glue him flat. You're not resting? Oh, because, yeah, you've got an upset tummy. I'm sorry. Then we're just going to set that on there. Cover up my big, ugly green blotch that I made. Ta-da! It kind of needs ribbon. I'm just saying. What ribbon do I have? Oh, that would have been pretty in there. I wonder if I have any more. Let me see. It's a miracle. I just found a pair of scissors, so... retired ribbon anymore. I'm like almost out of everything. Oh wait, there's some soft succulent. There's this one and this one. I like it better too. It pops more, right? It was too dull. It was a happy accident. So the moral of this story is when you make a mistake, just kind of embrace it. Maybe, you know, it was just meant to be. So I got pale papaya, which is pretty. And then I have some soft, so oh, you canceled tomorrow. You're still feeling that bad. I'm sorry, honey. I know, I'll bring you your sister and you can watch her. <laughs> I think it's going to be green. Let's see. So our new online exclusive, exclusives are going to be cool because they're not going to have an expiration date. They could become un, unavailable while they get more in, or if they're not selling well, then they might end. Um, but like, you know, they're not going to be only good until the catalog is over. They're going to, they're online, so they'll have a whole different plan for them. Where did my glue dots go? Hmm, I don't see any. Okay, I'm just going to stick a little piece of tear tape in there. There's a tummy bug going around. That, see, I, she probably does because, you know, she hangs out with all those snotty little kids during the week. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Rebecca. <laughs> and being pregnant and having an upset tummy is the worst. <laughs> So I'm just using a piece of tear tape instead of a glue dot because there's none here. I must have taken them out into the classroom because I had a class. Get rid of the cat hair. Get that up there. That's sweet. There you go. Oh, look at and see how pretty it is in here. Even though it's crooked, we can just go with it, right? So there you go. That is Irresistible Blooms that will be available on the first. Or if you join my team this month, not only do you get... $175 of your choice of product for $99, you can get this, all of these goodies as part of your kit, which is kind of nice. I like that they did that. It's very, very nice. All right, let's get these guys back in here before I lose them. I'm going to have to stick, see if we got them all. Because I will, I got food poisoning with Lucas. Oh gosh, at seven months pregnant, that would be miserable. Germ merchants. <laughs> I don't want it. That's the last thing my child here needs. So I told Becca to stay away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's ten. 
and then 11. Can we see that? Oh, a horse. Hang on one second. Stick that back in there. 11. I did it right. And somewhere I left the labels. There they are. So there it is. I had it off screen because oh, all the things that the Facebook is doing to me tonight. Isn't that pretty? I love the font. The flowers are simple. You can just stamp them and go. And then this, this right here, a favorite. I really, really like it. All right, let's get this stuff out of the way. Do I save this? What do I do? How do I do that? I stick my label back. I was trying to remember what I stick inside of there. So after I get all of these off, <clears throat> I will slide this in here and then all my stamps will go back in their little home so that I know if somebody's missing. So another new thing is the Naturally Gilded Specialty Designer Series paper. Isn't this pretty? I'm wondering how well it will show up. Oh, it shows up quite well. That's kind of a coppery color. And then this one is white and copper. This one is vanilla and gold. And this one's white and silver. Here, let me move over. So there's the silver one. And there's the vanilla one. At first I thought they were all the same pattern, but they are not. And then there's the white with copper. They're all different. I really like that one. So there's that one. And then also, there's a new kit in town. What is this guy called? Wreath, Wreath of Blooms kit. I have not done it yet, so I'm hoping to get to it this week. So it's a cute little home decor piece. I think this is only like $13. I can't get it out. Um, but isn't that pretty? And it's simple. This, okay, I don't know if you guys, I can't reach it or I would show it to you. Do you guys remember the, um, yes, Melissa, the paper is way more pretty in person. I, I always say that with our paper. It's just so hard to photograph. They would look good with the dainty flowers. I agree. Um, do you remember the floor, the bouquet that we made? It was probably like 10 years ago. Um, it took hours to make. This one is not going to take hours to make. Everything is good to go. The one that we did back then, you had to stamp and you had all these layers. It's a big bouquet. I'll have to take a picture of it and show you guys. Um, but my friend Amy and I worked on them um, one night. She only had a few hours and I don't even know if she's to this day ever finished it. Bless her heart. Um, I finished mine because I think it's beautiful and it was in like um, pool party and I don't know a pink I'm not sure which one that is I'm not sure about the colors um, maybe peach or cantaloupe crisp maybe and pool party and something else that's one of the pinks but it's really really pretty I just can't reach it so it's got this um the ring I think is just cardboard like a oh it's, yeah so it's chipboard and then you're going to build your flowers and you have lovely instructions and for $13 and you can get together with a couple of friends either on Zoom or in person and look at they show you how to do everything. You need a hot glue gun. It says you need a pen with I'm thinking pen, pencil, paper piercer, whatever it's for curling um, because you're making this little flower is that strip and you need to be able to um, use the hot glue. So these look pretty easy to do. I think a couple of you should grab this. If you're on my team, order it, and then we'll do it together. They even give you a ruler down the side so you know how much, um, if you're measuring things, because there is some twine in here. Oh, it's really pretty, too. It's a vanilla color, and there's brads, and there's um, tear and tape. And then this has a purpose. Don't know what it is, because like I said, I haven't done it. But look at those pretty flowers. Oh, I'm going to have to do this tomorrow, because this is really cute. Super cute. All right, if anybody else has this, let me know and we can do it together. I think it would be fun. I'm going to stick it all back in here so I can show it to you when I finish it. Because now I've said it, I have to do it, right? I feel like there was something else in that pre-order that, I don't know, maybe I, maybe there was? I don't remember. All right, y'all got one card out of me tonight. <laughs> and you got to see new stuff. I don't even know, oh, it's like eight, so that's not so bad. I'm trying to think. This is the last night to sign up for Paper Hugs. If you already are a subscriber, make sure you pop in and register because it just helps me out. Um, 
Sarah, and <laughs> I'll post the link at the top of this video when I'm done. But um, it's $38 for those that are signing up now. Sarah's Sarah's grandfathered in, and so is Jane because they have been they started doing it way back. Um, but anyway, so $38, and that includes shipping, and you get a minimum of $18. But I swear we always give you more. <laughs> because we just can't help ourselves and this month I know you're gonna get a spritzer and you're gonna get um, a big brush and a little brush I don't remember how many um, because we're gonna use the sweet citrus is it called I don't know it's a citrus set it's really pretty and it's one of those that some people probably look at and go oh it's it's citrus yes it's citrus but it's so good sweet citrus that is what it's called and it's a hybrid so it has that cool embossing folder that you can cut and emboss at the same time. I'm going to grab it since it's over here. So here's the cool folder. So you could just do a cool background, you know, running this through. But then you can also take this guy. So you could stamp this dude right here. And then you would lay this on top. And then this would go in here like so and then when you run it through it's going to cut those pieces out right there and it's going to emboss so it comes out gorgeous and look at those pretty flowers i saw somebody use the punch from is it like sentimental park i think um i'm gonna make coconuts with it that's one of the cards so why don't you go live wednesday and do the kit for us <laughs> maybe that could be a good idea sarah um, I can tell you we are going to do two citrus cards and we're also going to show you how to turn this into a coconut. So we're going to make um, one of the Stampin' Up! Artisans. They're the people who are on a team um, of demonstrators that Stampin' Up! has picked and they get to spend the year designing. And so um, I can't remember who it, who it was that did it, but she made some of the most beautiful cards and one of them is this gorgeous, gorgeous coconut using this piece here. And so we're going to definitely do that because we want to teach our paper hugs people how to do that. The beauty of paper hugs is you get to do a little bit, sometimes more technique and stuff because, you know, you're doing it at home. We give you instructions. We, there will probably be a short video at least to show some of the technique for this one. Um, you make six cards. You're getting three designs, two of each, plus your $18 plus dollars worth of product. Um, and all the stuff that you need to make it. We don't include the stamp set and the dies or anything, but we do offer it as an add-on with a little, little bit of a discount. You don't pay shipping on it. Um, but what we'll probably do, like if something needs, we're probably going to go ahead and run a couple of these through for you, but we can't stamp. But these work just fine for um, running them through with the dye and the embossing folder, and then you can just add color to them. So you could run them through on colored paper, so you could do green for limes, you could do orange for oranges, that type of thing, and then add more color. I'm so glad you love paper hugs, and you do it at your convenience. You don't have to do it the day it arrives. You can set it aside. I try really, really hard to label them so that you know which months they're from. Um, and then we send you a PDF, and we're always here if you have questions. It's just a fun way to try new stuff and see what, you know, we try to give you things that maybe you don't necessarily have yet or maybe you haven't tried yet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And so anyway, we just try to get that new stuff in your hands. All right, you guys. Do you guys have any questions? Celebration added 10 more things to their little list. They're all current items. Um, I will say I don't know the name of it because, well, I didn't even bring a book in here. Let me see. Oh, I have it. It's called Enjoy the Journey. This paper is phenomenal. And I will have a class for this very, very soon. Oh, Jane loves it too. We love doing paper hugs. We have been, we have, we've learned a lot in, I don't know, the couple years we've been doing it. We've made mistakes and we've learned from them and we take, we take suggestions from people. Um, and so and if there's something, if you're in paper hugs and there's something you're dying to see or play with, you just tell us and we will, we will give it a try. Um, we do fun folds. Sometimes they're super simple. One time we did a kit because, you know, like it was like during the holidays, that way it was something quick and easy for everybody. We didn't have to do a bunch of cutting. Um, we, we did some alternative things with it. 
Um, but it just helped with our prep during the holidays. And then for you, everything is ready to go. Um, but this paper is one of the free offerings. I think it's a $50 one. And it's just so good. It makes beautiful, beautiful cards. We're going to do some more um, masculine cards because, you know, those poor guys, they get left out all the time, don't they? Do you know the stamp set after the citrus? If I had my book in here, I would know that. Um, Jane, I can, um, I'll, I'll message you when I get done here because I'll be near all my stuff. Unless Rebecca's still here and she might have her book nearby. I left mine out in the living room. But look at this. You can go, zoop. And you could cut this and you can get six cards and the little pieces of mountains. And that would be gorgeous. And then a nice neutral on the back. And then, oh, that's pretty too. I like that. This paper is really pretty though, but look at that. Again, cutting this and you get different, because this kind of looks, looks like the wind. <laughs> or water, oh, look how pretty that is too. And again, you cut it and you would get six, and then still have a little bit in the middle left over on the other side. And then this one, some pretty mountains. This would go really good with that mountain set that we have too. Oh, look at that for a nice sky. Um, if you get a chance to look at the catalog, the stamp set is really, really good too. I didn't get it. The ocean, thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Um, I love these colors. I didn't get it at first, and I was in love with it, but it's not my style. I don't do outdoorsy stuff. I could, no, but it makes really cute cards. <laughs> and it makes good masculine cards. So I'm just going to embrace it. And it has really good words. Um, as soon as mine gets here, I'll get busy on that. But anyway, so that's what's going on this week. I think I have, I have class on, I don't know, is it the second Thursday this week? I think so. So I have class on Thursday. And maybe I will hop on Wednesday and make that kit. It always scares me doing a kit like that. <laughs> I'm going to lie. <laughs> because I've never done it before. But you guys don't mind when I mess up, right? All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we will see you again next Sunday. Hopefully, Rebecca will be feeling better. Um, and if you guys need anything, you just let us know. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.